Plushies, it's Ruth and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm making a Valentine's Day makeup look and this is how it looks like. If you are interested on how I made this look, just keep on watching. So starting with the bare face, I'm going to use my moisturizer to moisturize my face. I'm just using the Claire's Rich Smooth Moisturizer put a dot all over my face and spread it out with my fingers and I'm gonna use a primer from Benefit the professional primer and I'm gonna put on eye cream for my eye bags I'm just using the one from Watson's and spread it out now I'm gonna use the Bobbi Cosmetics color corrector in orange color to hide my dark circles and I'm gonna use the green one to hide the red marks on my face all over so I kind of went overboard with the <laughs> green concealer because I have a really reddish skin today and I'm using the Maybelline fit me foundation in shade 120 to use it as a foundation on my face and I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender to spread it out just put that all over your face and spread it all over. Now I'm using the Clio Kill Cover Concealer in the shade Ivory to conceal my under eye area. So I'm going to apply it like this semi triangular shape to be able to cover the earlier concealer that we use which is the orange color one and then I'm just gonna blend that in using my damp beauty blender I'm going to press in the concealer on my skin and now I'm using the Laura Mercier loose powder in translucent now using my beauty blender I'm going to press in the loose powder under my eyes to set the concealer and foundation and hopefully this will help with the creasing and the wrinkles under that area for my eyebrows I'm using the Anastasia deep brow pomade in brown and I'm just gonna use my brush to apply it starting at the middle area of the brows I will line it up and fill it in and on the inner area I will be putting in some hair strands and I'm going to spoolie them so that it doesn't look too dark and then I'm gonna blend the product all over the eyebrow areas and there you have it natural looking brows and we'll do the other side as well I'm just gonna use the gimme pro from benefit to finish up my eyebrows and help them stay in place and now moving on with the eyelids, I'm going to prime my eyes using a concealer just to make sure that the colors will stick together or stay together as I am putting it in. And I'm using the Cathy Doll Nude Me Champagne Pink Palette. And I'm using this light pink color for the transition shade. And I'm just going to use it to contour my eyelid area. Starting with the outer part, uh, I just trace the socket area of my eye and put the product layer by layer so we'll start small and then we can build it up later on. I'm focusing on the outer part of my eye for the transition shade because I want to use a lighter shade for the inner part and the inner corners of the eye. So this is good if you have a monolid eye just like me and you don't have that much of a space. You know what I mean? The space on your eyeballs for the colors. And now I'm using this pretty shimmery pink color for the inner corners of my eye and the inner part of the eyelid. Again, you can do this layer by layer, so you just have to put in a little bit product at first to see if you like it and then if you want, you can build up the color as you go along. You don't have to put in 
so much product right away so that you will see how your artwork is going and then you can adjust as needed so now I'm just gonna put some more on the inner side for that tea drop, uh, you know, teardrop effect now we're using the spoolie or the blending brush part of my brush to blend it all together and now for the smudgy part I'm gonna use this dark brown color to smudge the outer corner of my eye to give it a little bit of an edge and again you don't have to do it shockingly right away you can start small and build it up later so I'm very careful with this color because I'm just gonna try a little bit of color and blend it in to see if I like it already because if you made a mistake at this step you might end up looking like a panda <laughs> for the brow bones I'm using the, uh, the basic naked palette in the shade ivory to highlight the brow bone area and then I'm just gonna put it from the middle part of my eyebrows going out for it to have a highlighting effect now I'm using the same shimmery pink color and I'm going to line my eyes the waterline with that color starting from the inner corners going to the middle part and now to finish my eyeliner, I'm just using the transition shade to smudge my eye area. And now we're done with the eyes, I'm gonna do the other one. And this is how it looks like. The next step is putting on my fake lashes. I'm just using the ones I bought from Divisoria. And they work well. This is how they look like together. And to finish that off, I'm using a liquid eyeliner from BLK and this is how it looks like. And just make sure that it's very thin and try to tight line as much as possible. And then we finished doing our winged liner. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit to have a more dramatic effect but I'm not gonna put it in my whole waterline because I don't want to look maldita or aggressive so I'm just gonna put it down on the sides for the mascara I'm using the Maybelline Big Shots mascara lashes on the waterline and to put my eyelashes together with the fake lashes just to blend them together and for contour I'm using the hula bronzer to contour my face this is brand new and I'm using an angled, angled brush angled <laughs> angled brush to apply it on my face again just a little product goes a long way and also you can build it up as you go so you start with a little amount and blend it on your face and I also put it on my jawline and my cheekbone area and also put it up bring it up to have that illusion of high cheekbones I also like to put it on my hairline at my temple area so that I wouldn't look like a ghost I'm also gonna use this contour color to contour my nose line I'm just using a blending brush and take it from the ends of my eyebrows and then put a line to the tip of my nose and I'm going to do it on the other side as well to give our face a little bit of a definition you know, nose goals for blush on I'm using the MAC powder blush in the shade Dame and I'm using my blush on brush to put it on the temples of my cheeks 
you have to smile to able to find that and just put it there and blend it with the contour and to finish off I'm gonna use a powder brush to put on the translucent loose powder all over my face for the lips we will start with this Kiko Milano lip liner in nude rose and I'm gonna line my lips so that the lipstick can stick onto it for a longer time and I'm gonna top it off with the Vice Cosmetics in the shade Chanelin. I love this shade guys. This is good for every day and just for date night as well. For highlighter, I'm using my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonshine to put it on the top of my cheekbones, on my temple areas, on my nose bridge, and my cupid's bow. To set it up, I'm using the Flormar Makeup Setting Spray to make sure that this makeup will last for the whole day night. This is how the final look looks like. It's very fresh, it's very feminine, and it's perfect if you are going on a date or on a singles night out with your friends. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're new. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!